Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Sony Vegas tutorial. This time showing you how to stabilize your footage using the built-in stabilizer in Vegas Pro 10. So, here I have footage of a squirrel and its nuts. Now, I took this video holding the camera so you could kind of see it's a little shaky but not too much, which is perfect for stabilizing. We can make this look a lot smoother just by selecting the clip, going to Tools, Video, Stabilize Media. Now there's two different ways to do this. You can either do it the long way or you can just right click on the clip, Stabilize Media. Now it's going to come up with a little pop-up window that's going to ask you, the event uses less than 17% of the media. Would you like to apply a stabilization to a subclip created from the event instead? What this is asking you is since I just cut this little portion of this clip from the longer version, it's asking if I just want to add the stabilization to this clip or if I want to add it to the entire clip. So I just want to add it to this clip, so I'm going to click yes. All right, now you got the stabilize media dialog window. There are already some presets built in, general footage, medium analysis, and so on. You can choose from these presets or you can adjust things yourself. You have your accuracy slider. The accuracy slider adjusts the accuracy of motion detection. So in most cases, the default will work out for you, but increasing the setting can produce more accurate stabilization if needed. Detect fast camera motion is for clips that contain really fast camera movement. It's, it's usually useful in situations when the camera is moving quickly, maybe if you're filming from a fast moving vehicle, and especially when this type of clip requires more analysis than typical handheld camera shake. Motion to stabilize. Here we can adjust which type of motion we want to stabilize. We have our pan and tilt, which removes camera shake, pan, tilt, and roll, which removes camera shake and smooths rotation. Then we have pan, tilt, roll, and zoom, so it removes camera shake, smooths rotation, and unwanted zoom effects. Now we have our pan tilt stabilization. We can drag this around to the stabilization we want to apply. So a setting of zero means that no pan tilt stabilization is applied, which yeah. is the X and Y. A setting of 100 means that the plugin will attempt to remove all pan tilt motion. Then we have our roll stabilization, which you can adjust for what that says, the roll stabilization. So up here, if you have pan tilt and roll selected, that comes up for you to edit. But if it's just pan tilt, that hides. So the roll stabilization basically tells Vegas how much of the roll do you want to smooth out. And then last, you have your rolling shutter correction. This can come useful, especially when you're shooting in HD SLR. You can select this checkbox if you want to correct skewing during horizontal motion or stretching compression during vertical motion due to rolling shutter. So you can check this if you have just a lot of fast moving. So I'm actually going to set a preset. I'm just going to go with handheld camera, very smooth, and then click apply. It takes a few seconds to render, or a couple days if you have longer footage, and Windows 98. And it also creates a new subclip that is stabilized, and it placed it here in our timeline. So we have our original, and then we have our little subclip stabilized. So let's go ahead and preview this. And you could tell that there is a, a decent amount of change. So here's our before. See, it's a little shaky right there at the beginning and then our after. Now, of course, this won't always work with every type of clip you have. Believe me, I tried it. Holding the camera from a go-kart, riding up and down hills, dirt, mountains, it's uh, it's not going to stabilize those. So there you have it. This is a new feature in Vegas Pro 10 that I'm just now getting to. I know it's a little late. Vegas Pro 10 came out in October of last year. But hey, maybe you didn't know. And of course, if you're using Vegas Pro 9 and below, there's always a plugin that you can buy from New Blue. It's a New Blue Stabilizer. And you could always use this in Vegas Pro 10 as well, as it might provide you with some more options for smoothing out your video. Let's see how much it is. I haven't seen. Holy squirrel nuts! Winning. Ugh. All right, so there you go. Stabilizing footage in Vegas Pro 10. I hope this helped. You can follow me on Twitter, at Rob's Productions, and all the rest, you know, it's on the screen. Thanks for watching, and until next time.
Take care.